Welcome back to the Ethan Claire Podcast Show. Big episode 100. Boys, we made it. Let's get a little round of applause here. 100. Great to be here. Glad we could get everybody. Uh, it's an awesome episode. And we have a cake here. We have the 100th episode EC show cake. I'll show this on camera here. We're going to have to munch into this after the podcast. If you got a good angle on that, Colin. Mm-hmm. Look at what's, that icy job. What's that around the uh, base of the cake? Are those... Little piece of chocolate or sprinkles Where? right here. Yeah. Those are all chocolates. I'm pretty sure. Or, uh, sprinkles. I'm assuming that must have been that'd an be, expensive cake. That'd be my I favorite. iced it myself. So I really, bought, yeah, very professionally done. No, thank yeah. you. It was my I, first I, time. I watched him do it. First oh, time yeah. doing it. So I think it turned out pretty decent, actually. So hundred episodes. We have come a long way from starting off on March twenty fourth of twenty eighteen. That's episode one. So that was that was almost three years ago when we started. Crazy. Crazy to think back of all the... It seems longer, to be honest with you, but I guess he's got the exact date, so we'll believe him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it, it probably... Because we took multiple breaks. We mm-hmm. took two or three breaks in between. I have on here, we almost quit twice. Like, we almost gave up on it. There was multiple times I know and we were like, yeah, I don't think this is going to happen anymore. Just because you get burnt out from doing it every week. And do you remember the first episode you came on, Adam? you remember what it was? Making you oh, think back? God. Um... I couldn't even tell you to be completely honest. You don't remember? I'm trying. I think it was an episode with, oh, gosh, I can't remember now. Hanson, maybe. I, I don't know. I that was kind of what I was. Thinking I don't remember. Was, was Hanson, and maybe. I have the highlights here too. But I just trying to look back. Colin obviously was on episode one, and then he was on a bunch of episodes, and then he took a break for a while. Mm-hmm. And I have the exact episodes. I have the stats here. We'll get into that in a second. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but just looking back at everything we've done, all the things we've done, the people we've had on, we've had a ton of guests on. We've had a ton of cool people. We've done a lot of cool stuff. And thank you guys for sticking with us here because the fans have been supportive, and we've done a lot of different things. From prank calls to pranks on the podcast, a lot of giveaways. A lot of giveaways. We switch up the format is kind of the direction I'm going. Like we did a bunch of different things, and and people stuck with us the whole time. So we really appreciate you guys. So thank you. People have been asking me about Damon, and people I don't know if people think that there's something that happened or if there's some kind of fight or anything, but we're completely fine. Like COVID came, and we were going. Me and Colin were going back to Wyndham every week to do the podcast, and COVID came, and the bark got closed down. So then we started doing like the digital, like mm-hmm. the virtual ones with John Jabot and everything. Um, and Damon just didn't want to come up because of work, because he works with kids and he works with um, older people as well that have to go or the kids have to go home and stuff. So he didn't want to get anybody sick. So it was one of those things where we moved the podcast here to the studio. And I'm, I hope Damon comes back on in the future because we've had some awesome episodes with Damon. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. um, I just don't want anyone to think that anything happened because people haven't seen Damon in a while. Uh, Damon's excited and he's happy we're still doing it and he wants to get back on. I'm pretty sure it just with COVID, it kind of it killed the it's podcast a tough for a while. Yeah, it killed the podcast for a while. We had to get creative, and now it kind of. I mean, to be honest with you, there's some positives that came out of it because we've interviewed some really cool people because of from COVID all, from all over the country, all over the country using Zoom. And I don't know if we ever would have done that if COVID. Uh, didn't hit us so that's the kind of the thing i'm saying with that i do have to thank uh dalton colin damon peter tylen mason these are all some of the original people greg at the bark for letting us do the podcast there for tons of episodes we did it had our studio there for like the first 25 episodes um do you have the stat i have the stats here uh adam thanks for coming on all these episodes um my parents for letting us do it at the house matt for letting us use his laptop i just have a bunch of thank yous um <laughs> if i'm missing anybody i'm sorry but I, that's those are the people that really um stuck with it you know dalton and tylen and colin and mason were like the original people that we started this back in 2018 and now to think where we are it's just crazy and the people we've had on so um yeah i, I do have the stats here but before that i do want to show some new shirts that we'll be launching with the um with the drop of episode 100 here. So we have the What the Fake, because we've had that on the podcast. That's kind of one of our uh, recurring segments here. So this one's going to be coming out, What the Fake, only on the Ethan Clare show. i got like the, the game show logo there. And then uh, that's the actual highlights. This one here, Learn Something from Everyone, the embroidered sweatshirt, which I wore a couple of podcasts ago. People have been asking me about that. And then we are going to be releasing this one again. Maybe we'll get uh, Colin on there as well. And um, the Wilder Demon one, because people like that one a lot. Um, so I'll put all those on. They're going to be on Facebook, because T-Win is still down right now until we do the actual drop. 
for the new stuff, which is what you're seeing right here, the logo here. Mm. Um, new T1 drop, though, but that's not the website's not live, so this will be on Facebook, so make sure you get some new gear. Also, there's a mug. Learn something from everyone mug. I haven't had that out yet because we're drinking beers tonight. But cheers, boys, to 100. Let's get a little cheers here oh, yeah, before we get too much into it. <laughs> Adam's got a bottle of vodka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it <laughs> is. Cheers, boys, to 100. All right, so... Let's just dive right in. Um, stats. I did want to get the guesses, though, for how many episodes you think you're on, Colin, Adam. Hmm. I don't know. I thought 70, 74. Let's go. 74? 74. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like 15. I feel like I might be lowballing, but okay. I, I'd go with 15. 15? Okay. So here's the actual stats. I'm going to go just from the beginning. So... Total for the uh, total episodes we've done, um, total time, 99 hours, 16 minutes, and 38 seconds of podcast that we've done. We've had 63 different guests on in 15 locations. We've had two permanent studios, one at the Bark, which is episodes 1 through 20-something, and then we took a huge break where we were traveling and doing it. We've done it in like some crazy spots, mm-hmm. if you think back. We did an episode, we talked about that, but Under the Bridge, The Living Room, the attic at the bark, the tu- the tunnels somewhere. Basement. Basement. Yeah, we've gone all over the place. So uh, 15 different locations, though, and um, we haven't really stuck to one until here, uh, which is up here in the attic of our of our new place. So this is like the second studio. Three producers. Dalton was the first producer, and then Peter came on to produce a bunch of episodes. Colin's been producing them uh, at the new place here. The shortest episode we ever did was episode 86, um, which is the uh, alien UFO guy, um, which was uh, a COVID uh, issue. He didn't want to be here too long. So that was a 27-minute long, 49-second um, episode. Longest episode was episode 94, so not even that long ago, which was two hours, 31 minutes, and 33 seconds with Logan. That was a long, mm-hmm. long episode. We had to take bathroom breaks during that one, so it was definitely <laughs> – My God, two and a half hours. It was a yeah. good episode. We talked about a lot, and Logan wanted to keep going, so he's a he's a trooper. Um now, here's the stats for you guys. Colin has been on 72 episodes. Ooh, I said 73, didn't I? You said 74. Said 74. Yeah. 74. Yep. Uh, Damon has been on 53 episodes. So, Damon, uh, huge thank you for you coming on. Um, Damon's one of one of the best people we've had on the podcast. He's always insightful and says some awesome stuff and has a lot of knowledge because we're all young bucks here. So, mm-hmm. having Damon on is awesome. Adam has been on 20 episodes Ooh, of the, the podcast. Two. Now 21. There we go. And Colin, 73. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dalton <laughs> produced 20 episodes. Uh, Peter produced 20 episodes. So, each of those guys did a lot of work, too. And Dalton um, was like the foundation for starting it off and getting the, the whole thing going. So, a big shout out to Dalton. And then I have the power guest, the big players. These are five people we've had on the podcast multiple times who always bring interesting stuff. I don't know what it is about these guys, but they always come on and they always make the podcast ten times better. Um, so starting off with Sherman, the Shermanator, Jason Sherman. Uh, he's been on four times, and every time he's came on has been awesome. And he's um, he we, he's even been on podcast. I don't remember if you know, uh, if you remember this, Adam, but uh, we're at the bark, and the, we were supposed to have somebody come. And yep. we had to go get Sherman. He was teaching a class, and we like call into the back, and we're like, Sherman, can you come on the podcast? And like, after you're done, I don't think I was there for that. One. Oh, really? No. I, you remember that? I was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he had to come. He just was like, I don't even sure I'll come on. So he didn't know anything like what we were talking about, and we didn't either. So we just free balled the whole episode. It was over an hour. So Sherman always brings the heat. John Jabot has been on five times. John's always great to have on. Uh, definitely one of the funniest guys we have on the podcast. Oh, He's yeah. a comedian. John always has a good take on things, and he just called me the other day. He wants to come back on, so we're going to get John Jabot back on. Uh, Dane Nielsen has been on four times, and every time Dane comes on, it's always a good time. Dane's got stories, knowledge. Uh, he could talk about anything. Oh, yeah. He's done a lot of stuff, met a lot of people. So, Dane, thank you very much for coming on. And then Adrian Lee uh, has been on four times, and Adrian's another guy. Every time he comes on, we usually talk for an hour and a half, two hours. You know, yeah. it goes a long time. Adrian just has the ghost stories and all the videos and pictures. So, Adrian, you're one of our best guests. Thank you very much. And then he's only been on twice, but both times he's been on have be have been some of the best podcasts we've done, to, in my opinion. Um, they've been <laughs> just crazy all over the place. Uh, Jack, uh, and I, I, there's no last name, just Jack, uh, the mysterious man who's the only guest we've had 
who's blurred uh, just because he doesn't want his identity to be out there because the government is after him. We'll have to get him on for sure in 2021. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to figure do something. I'll go back to Wyndham because we're not going to be able to do it here. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely get him back on. But you were on the second one, Adam. I'm glad you could join yeah. us for that. Yeah, that was definitely a good time. We, uh-huh. There's a lot of good good stories, you know, a lot of good information, good insight. Mm-hmm. Jack's, Jack's a fun guy. He's a, he's a good guy to you know, oh, have yeah. around and talk to. He could talk about anything. He's got a lot of – he knows a lot about oh, yeah. stuff. So great to have him on. Um, and then I have the co-hosts who've been on multiple episodes, and I don't have the numbers for them. But Tylan, Mason, and Kyle have been on a lot of episodes each. And specifically, Tylan and Mason have been on a ton. And Tylan, um, and they the were beginning. the first, the first ones. Yep, Tylan and Mason. So thank you guys very much for um, starting this whole thing off. Um, you know, it's almost it's it's been crazy to just come this far. So I've said that a ton of times, but like I said, I almost quit twice. I brought that down here on here because we almost gave up on it. There was not going to be a podcast, so we kept going, and now we're here at a hundred. So that's the stats from doing a hundred episodes of podcasting. And now we got a cake. And now we have a cake. We'll have to eat that after. But it's I, I think the best way to do this, I was trying to think about how we're going to go back and do memories and all that because I knew I wanted to go back and touch on all the funny things, all the crazy things that have happened. Because when you do 100 episodes with – you do 99 hours of podcasts, you're going to have some some stuff that happens. Mm-hmm. We have a ton of funny things on here. And I didn't know if I should break them on the, up into clips or if we should watch the whole thing first or if we should watch it individually and talk about it. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk, Watch it, talk about it because we're going to yeah. have memories. But before we do that, I want to know what your guys' favorite – some memories that you have, um, things that happen either during the podcast or after the podcast that we could talk about. Uh, if you have any things – or just episodes that you remember that were fun, that you had a really good time, maybe your favorite episode. I don't even know if you if you can remember anything. Sometimes I remember – I don't remember what episodes they were, even who we had on, but when we used to go back to Wyndham, we'd watch the uh, horror movies, the B-horror movies upstairs oh. with Damon. Yeah, I have that written after down. After the podcast. Munchie. 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 Yeah, Munchie. Yep. Oh. I don't know. We watched a few, but it yep. was in the upstairs of the bark. After the podcast a few times. Just like VHS time. movies. We bring the VHS player. Have snacks. Oh, Damon gotcha. brought snacks. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah, those were good times. Up in the, uh, the the old studio that has all the VHS stuff? Yep. Okay, yep. I got you. Yep. What about you, Adam? You were, anything that uh, good times that you had on the podcast? I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of tough because uh, I always felt like we would have some of like our like best discussion, you know, like before and after, the, like even when the mics aren't on, and then it's yep. like, man, I, I really wish that we could have, uh, you, uh-huh, you know, you uh-huh. know, captured that with the mics on. But yep. I feel like that's happened quite a few times. Oh yeah, all the time because like we'll get halfway into a conversation like prior to the podcast or uh, podcast, and, yep. and, and then. Uh, Ethan will remind us to uh, save it for the podcast. Save, save it for the podcast, podcast. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Famous line. Well, maybe this will bring back some uh, memories here for everybody because it did for me. Going back, I spent a couple hours last night going back. I have the episode number, the date we did it to kind of uh, help people here. But we'll just go through and, um, Colin, you could kind of – we're going to cut through each one. So mm-hmm. starting off <laughs> – Right away, the, the podcast started off with a bang, uh, police getting involved, literally. Um, this is Let's just watch it, and we'll discuss it after here. Episode 1, March 24th, 2018, and this would be in... My room. Your your bedroom, my old bedroom, because mm-hmm. I had gone to college and then dropped out, came back. So now this is Colin's room, and I think we took your bed out of here. Right? Yeah, I remember that. We had to take everything out to set up the podcast studio, so we had everything in the downstairs the living room. Yep. So here it is. Know. That's how the first one went. Let's make sure we get audio here for this. Yeah. Colin and I said, when we were going to high school, or when he was going to high school, that people would just bring their guns to school, leave them in their truck, or bring them in their locker, and mm-hmm. then they would go hunting after school. I still yep, do that. They'd bring them on the bus to school. Did you just hear Mason? <laughs> <laughs> I still do that. <laughs> uh, Wait, hold on a minute. Time hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What did you just say? I still do that. Still do what? It's cased and everything, but you hey, can't do no, that. No, listen. I know. Hey, we have talked about. It. Hey, that. wait. That's cool. Hey. <laughs> so hey. confident. No, listen. Hey, listen. Hang listen. On a minute. Listen to what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hang hey. on a minute, Mason. Listen. Hang on a minute. No, listen to me real quick. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Tylen. All right, is this? Are you? Yes. I'm, okay. I'm going on okay. this. All right. Okay. <laughs> so teachers or uh, staff at the school are okay. saying, if you want to bring your gun from hunting, you can park on the street. You're not parking in the school. But like, technically, you have to be 500 yards, and the street is not 500 yards. Hold oh, on. I like how he turns into. Uh, I love like how he knows all the facts about it. <laughs> and oh, that, hey, that's his argument that because the the 
street isn't 500 yards, though what's the point of parking on the street? Yeah. I'm just going to park in the parking lot. Uh-huh. So then see what – here. this is where – I mean, it's phony already, but Bennett. listen to this. Mason. All right, it doesn't matter. They're telling you to park in the street. Park on the street. Don't come in. So, uh, Mason, are you parking on the street or in the parking lot? I'm in the parking lot. Okay. But – it's hidden from the eye. Think about <laughs> Hold that. on a minute. That does not matter. Does hey, matter. Hey, there, it's, what is going hey, on? No, hey. Huh. It, it's it's in the case. It does not <laughs> matter. It, it can is. be in a, in hey, a bolt on hey. the school property. Hey. Hold it on. doesn't matter if it's hey. hidden under let me, your seat. Let me ask it's you on something. The if the police department sees this interview, are you going to be in trouble because of this? I don't know. Why are you saying this right now, then? Anyway. <laughs> all right, so uh, <laughs> Mason's all about the good content. I, oh, we dude, you, Mason. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. That um, I couldn't believe that he came on and literally just admitted that he had his gun at the school in the parking lot. And then I asked him a question. I said, "If this gets seen by the police, are you going to be in trouble?" And he said, "I don't know." Well, soon after the podcast aired, I think it was the next day. We get a phone call, and the school, I think Mason had to go in. I don't know if he got suspended or if it was an in-school suspension, and we had to pull the podcast down. Uh, we took it down for, like, a couple of weeks or something, and um, they literally just said, you know, not a good idea to talk about bringing a gun to school on the podcast. Mm-hmm. I said, I know, and that's what we said. That's when all the school shootings were going on, too. This is, like... Back in 2018. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I, mean, I don't remember which one, but either way, you don't talk about... I can't believe that he did that. Well, it's in a case. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hey, uh, it was it was quite a way to start episode one. Oh, off. yeah. It definitely pulled some people in. So Mason, like you said, he's always been about the content. <laughs> Whether it's good or bad, Mason's always been about the content. So that is episode one. Now let's jump forward I a little bit. I haven't seen that episode since the like the week after we did it. Uh-huh. So and I, was... I even thought I maybe cut it out and then re-uploaded it, but I went to watch it, and it was there, and I was happy to find it because it's hilarious. It is funny. And he, we almost kept talking over him because he kind of says it while we're talking. Mm-hmm. I still do. And we're like, wait, what did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> I love the way he says that. <laughs> um, let's jump forward here now. Um, we're going to jump to, I believe, episode five. This is the first time Adrian Lee was on, and we pull up a picture that uh, we took, and this is like the only ghost evidence. Do you see what we're looking at here, Adam? This is a highlighted area right here. Uh-huh. There, It looks to be uh, – a Peyton actually was the one that pointed it out to us. It looks like a farmer. Hey, don't we talk about it on the episode? Uh-huh. I just wanted to show Adam a little bit before we a get farmer, into it. farmer, you said? Yeah, because you can kind of see like the eye sockets and then the nose, and there's it looks like he has a beard. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I'll kind of draw it on okay. here. All right, so here, this is what Adrian thinks. It would make sense if it was like a farmer because it was on a farmland abandoned school. So Yeah. yeah. That looks like Santa Claus. I think you're being haunted <laughs> by the ghost of Santa Claus. Right Santa there. Claus is there. Well, I kind of just highlighted like the eyes and the beard and the mouth and everything, um, what I thought it looked like. We got old man Witherspoon or something. <laughs> See, it looks like the oh, old man. Oh, party is so creepy. <laughs> oh, Adrian does his old man yeah, here. Is school, hearing on? So. Yeah, yeah. That looks like Santa Claus. I think you're being haunted <laughs> Wait by for the ghost it. of Santa Claus. Right Santa there. Claus is there. Well, I kind of just highlighted like the eyes and the beard and the mouth and everything. Um, what I thought it looked like. We got old man Witherspoon or something. It's old man Withers from the amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, there's a funny story about that podcast too. Um, we re- used to record the podcast in 30 minute blocks because the cameras can only record 30 minutes. That's before we had the video mixer. Uh, you remember that because oh, yeah. you had to do it a bunch of times. Uh-huh. So this was an hour and a half podcast. So we did a uh, half hour stopped, half hour stopped. We did another half hour and the last half hour, we either didn't record audio or the video didn't record, and Adrian had gone home. Mm-hmm. So we're at the bark frantically, and this is like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. We're like, what are we going to do? I was out of town, too, at uh, my ex-girlfriend's house. Yeah. yeah. So we had to call Adrian back, call Colin back, and he was pissed. Everyone's all mad. Adrian was happy to come back, um, and we had to redo the that part of the podcast again so when adrian does the old man witherspoon we already knew he was going to do that uh-huh. so we all laughed even uh. though we had already done it because it, it was the, like we told adrian you gotta do that again and he did it so we did the third part i don't of the podcast. remember the old man witherspoon yeah that's funny yeah. That <laughs> so it's happened a couple times where technology oh well, there's another episode uh it's in here where we forgot to bring the audio board this board 
So we had to go out to the church, our parents go to, and get their audio board and bring it to the bark and set it all up and with Damon. Uh, and we're listening to rap music going out there. Damon's bringing back all the memories. <laughs> <laughs> so just stuff like that, little stories uh, that bring back a lot of memories. And if we didn't do the podcast, there wouldn't be any of these memories or we would have never met these people. Um, do you remember this one, Colin? Oh, you were here, but you definitely know which podcast is. I in. was in the bark for something, and we saw a chant coming up. But mm. this is one of the funniest things of all time, Adam. You're gonna love this. this oh, is I know it. Yeah, chant from Jackson. He's a uh, he does the Daily Hustle. Jordan used to work for him. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, business okay. guy is a YouTube channel. Cool guy. Mm-hmm. We did a call in show, so anyone could call in. Didn't know who was gonna call. Watch who called. You are on the Ethan Clare podcast show. Who are we talking to? Is anyone there? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Okay. <laughs> Did you have a question for Chant or are you just calling in to say hi? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, it's, it's just a- grandma. She doesn't know what she's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's our grandma. Hey, grandma. Oh. grandma, thank you for calling in. Well, we're on here with a guy from Jackson. He's a businessman and entrepreneur. And he has oh. a... Okay. Yeah, he has a YouTube channel, and so we're just talking to him um, and getting kind of oh. his story and everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just talk to you later then, okay? okay. All right. We'll talk okay. to you later, Grandma. I love you. All right. Love you, too. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Grandma calling in. <laughs> Grandma awesome. calls into the podcast. <laughs> awesome. uh, and some other <laughs> – she, th- she saw on Facebook uh, that I put call this number. And mm-hmm. so she thought, like, I don't know if she thought we needed help or, like, what it was. She didn't realize it was for the podcast. <laughs> I could have edited it out, but my dad's like, you should get grandma to call in every week. And it could be like, what does grandma think about this? Like, uh-huh. a, like a segment. Um, my grandma has also got the podcast. Uh, she watches every week. Thank you, grandma, very much for checking it out. She said it's stuck or whatever. Like, her iPad freezes up or something, and it's been stuck. So it plays nonstop, and she's called me. Like, I don't know how to shut it off. Like, it keeps playing, and I've already listened mm-hmm. to that episode. Like, it <laughs> keeps going. So I've had to tell her, like, Grandma, you got to hit pause or whatever. Like, you got to stop it. Uh-huh. Uh, but you got to support. You got to love the support. So, Grandma, thank you, even though you shouldn't have called during that part. <laughs> or, or maybe you had a question. I don't know. So that was one of the funniest uh, memories. And just thinking back to doing the call-in shows, we've had a lot of good call-in. I even wrote on here, Luke – Somewhere on Luke phone calls. Luke's <laughs> called into the show multiple times. He's became he's one always of the, got some type of story. He's something. became one of the infamous call in guests. Uh, he called in during the Halloween episode a couple years ago and told a story that went viral on Facebook. Um, everyone was loving it because it was about this kid that got hit up by the Methodist Church. Everyone on Facebook was debating if it's true or not, and it was just a ghost story. So mm-hmm. I don't know, you know. But it's one of those things where we appreciate people calling in. We appreciate the support. So let's keep going with it here. Let's see what else we got. I'm not sure what's coming up. That was episode 10. Grandma's yeah. calling in. I'd just like to ask her a question. Oh, so, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, and I episode 11. And all of a sudden, holy smokes. He's Colin's to dumping some stuff here. on the fire. <laughs> anyway, out of nowhere, boom. We, um. Hey, there's gas coming. Is it coming over Coming towards the gas. Gas leaking over <laughs> <laughs> Colin's got it. Don't worry about it. Hey, Jesus, so, it's cool. right, great episode. And so remember- this is the episode we did underneath the bridge. Mm-hmm. And if you look at it, I mean, it's just crazy to look at that we set it all up. We had a generator like a football field away or whatever, so you couldn't pick it up. And we had the lights down there and all the extension cords. Talk about a pain to set up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet. You know? Uh-huh. Doing it right there. But this is the Bigfoot episode, so it was like the perfect atmosphere down there underneath the bridge and we used to have fires down there it was a pain mm-hmm. to set up but definitely a cool spot and had the fire going in the back or i tried to keep it going i like how you just dump the gas right <laughs> yeah, over the top you, of it you just see it in the background <laughs> a big flame go <laughs> up there just calling standing there with the can <laughs> tried to we tried to keep it unique though so doing stuff like this always freshened it up um let's keep so going retweet, here share subscribe like comment Pretty much anything to get. The- oh, by the way, uh, that's those are some good things I just said. Retweet, 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 retweet. The beer's hitting me, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> retweet, like, subscribe, share. Um, leave us a review. Get the podcast out there. I just mentioned that, so good, good comments there. Let's get back into it. Podcast out there. One more. Could you tell me how old you are, Jim? All right. So before I give it some context, episode seventeen, August sixteenth, twenty eighteen. We are talking on Adrian's back on, second time he's been on. Adrian's got the ghost box here. So what it is, is if you've ever seen one before, no, it, no it cycles through radio frequencies. And 
the the theory is that ghosts use magnetic or electromagnetic frequencies or something. And so if you listen past like the Twins game and the whatever's on the radio, the music, you can hear people ghost talking to you. So what he's doing right now, you'll hear the voice. Uh huh. But and it's very faint, so you have to listen. Um, do we have this turned all the way up? Yeah, it should be. It's not gonna blow my eardrums out, is it? No, no, Everything no, no. Else? <laughs> um, but what you're gonna hear is like a. Ch- 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 and you'll hear like a bunch of voices. It's loud. He asks it a question, and then you have to. He holds it up to the mic, and you'll hear what it is, and you'll just see it. But that's t- some context here. Adrian came on. We did an entire episode. Go watch it. It's actually really interesting because after it, we went through the bark, and Mason claims he got touched by a janitor or something. That's what. Better we, uh, rephrase that next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the story. That's what it literally happened. So, all right, listen here. Oh, sh- oh shoot! Here, let me. I didn't even hear the question. I'll go back. He asked a the question. Podcast out there. One more. Could you tell me how old you are, Jill? I heard 13. I heard 13. I heard 13. Yeah, Did you hear that, Adam? Young... No, mm-hmm. you listen one more time. I heard 13. Okay, yeah. 13. You hear that? It sounds very faint, um, but we asked it three times, and it's we all heard 13 three times. Uh-huh. And it's one of those things where I'm not a big ghost guy, but when you do stuff like that, it's like, are we all, is it messing with your head? Look mm-hmm. at Mason here. Oh. <laughs> Mason's mind is blown right yeah. now. I'm loving it. The young oh, girl's voice. It right? was, that yeah. Was re- that was really yeah. loud and in, clear. In, in, in Mason's all in. He's like, I'm going to get my own ghost. Box. <laughs> That's why we got to get Mason back on. It's been too long. He's hilarious. Ethan, this is tripping me out here. We got you, like, us talking on there and then, like, us talking over it. I don't know what's tripping with me on what. What's Who actually happening? Yeah. <laughs> it's like podcastception right here for Colin. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder why this keeps going. You see how it's doing that, Colin? It's like going. Uh, in and out. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why it's doing on. that. I might have to play it like this. Um, unless there's a different way to do it here. Uh, whatever. I'll just go back to it. All right. Let's keep moving. In a young lady's voice. So do you give any um, any credence to a possible... <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time Jack was on. Episode 19, August 31st, 2018. Uh, Sherman's talking about God, and Jack has one hell of a story to tell. This is a little bit longer, one, but I think it's worth it. Possible alternative uh, interpretation of what happened? Like, uh, maybe not the outer net, but uh, maybe God or uh, uh, your imagination or your uh, I've yeah. sensitivity. I've on the ER table. Hmm? I've met the one. You've met the one. My God. And okay. that's the best Literally. way I can describe it. <laughs> wow. It was just like, okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you saw the white light and you went, you went there. And you said uh, well, it's not your time? Or? There, well, we had a bit of a talk. Okay. <laughs> wow. I was ready to go, and he said I wasn't. Could you make wow. out facial features or just like a silhouette uh, from a light? At first, it was just light. Really? Think of the pure- now, listen, to, this is Colin's favorite line here. Uh, what Sherman says, it gets kind of cut off uh, because I think Damon was trying to hear Jack's story, and then Sherman kind of interrupted him. So you see Damon kind of go like this, and Sherman shuts up. But <laughs> David, uh, Sherman's Sherman says something hilarious, and I didn't even catch it because when I'm doing the podcast, usually my mind is like focused on what's the next, you know, what is the person saying, and where are we going with it. Uh-huh. So I don't always hear what everyone else is saying, and I feel like I missed a lot of what the other people were saying. And Damon, like I missed little comments, like funny things, because I'm so focused on keeping the podcast going. But uh, Sherman makes a hilarious comment. You'll just listen right here. First white you can think of, mm-hmm. and I have a friend there it was who does no tan. And... <laughs> <laughs> Sherman says I have a friend who does not tan, uh, <laughs> and I just I, I didn't even catch it. But Damon uh-huh. Damon was like this for a second, so I'm dying. I'm thinking Colin showed me this later because I didn't catch this it. This is this is the only episode of our podcast that I've ever listened to multiple times the whole thing <laughs> yeah this is one of those it, ones you gotta keep going it back is to just hilarious uh-huh. the whole thing is great getting sherman and jack together with me and damon was mm-hmm. like one of the best things we've ever done on the podcast this is probably if we're going to talk about favorite episodes this one goes down in my top five for sure like up there because i this episode was so fun mm-hmm. uh there's some more funny comments okay. and it made me understand what i don't want to uh, attach a sex to something that i have no idea just <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a being of energy of light of love understanding wisdom Sexless, and it's all right maybe? there genderless i 
didn't check and didn't check. Um, didn't check. It's probably a wise decision. Point, Are we gonna ask God yeah, to pull yeah. his pants down? Or <laughs> the, long, and, the long hair, the long hair through y'all. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've awkward. always questioned everything. Yeah, yeah. I start crying. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm gonna try pulling up something else here. That episode, though, right there, go check it out for sure. Both episodes that Jack was on, um, I'm gonna try something different here so it stops doing that. Um, like Colin said, though, that's one that I can always go back to. And just <laughs> remember it because it's so funny. Like it, we just great. had a really good time. I'm hoping this will work here better. Um, I'm really curious to see where that uh, or, or uh, what that next clip is because I feel like I've never seen that like that setting before. Did you ever know Matt? Background. Matt was on the uh, podcast, and that was my follow up because I thought that that he had never been on. But yep, he's been on one time. Oh, here we go. Okay. And I and I totally forgot about the whole that whole episode until that picture flashed right there, uh-huh. and I'm like, holy. Shit, that's one of our best episodes. I was uh, I was like looking at our it most, and I'm like, God, not, where pro- are they? Maybe not best, but most unique. One of one uh-huh. of the most unique episodes. I'm trying to figure out how um Okay, share audios on. I'm trying to get this file. Is it on there? No. No. Okay, one second. No, yeah. I have. No, hang on. I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, I, that that that's a good point though. That um that episode not too many people know about. Is it not working? It's on mine. Is it? Yeah. Only the uh, true to the true know about it. Yeah. If you know, you know type. Yeah, type exactly. Basis. Oh, hang on here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. You getting it now? Yep. But we're not getting audio is the issue. God, we might just have to go back to the old. I don't think this is going to work. That's not that big of a problem either. Uh-huh. It's just kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even notice what you were talking about. Oh, so you I didn't? Okay. <laughs> I guess I just feel... Okay. Adam's just watching the clips. I get oh, all, oh, I get yeah, all the I'm, little details. All right. I'm way too invested in the clips to be worrying about uh-huh. anything else. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let's just go back to this. Jump back in. All right. So we were on right after this. Yep. And right here. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is a unique. Everything. Yeah. Okay, this is a unique episode. This is our episode twenty four. This is we're gonna have a guest on. I think we're gonna have Fuzzy on, but he couldn't make it. So we're scrambling to come up with something. And you, by we're the at way, the grocery store or something. I think. Uh huh. We bought a bunch of hot sauces. And by the way, Adam, this is my old room in their old house. That's where we are. We took my we oh. tipped my bed up, moved everything. We used, we did a couple episodes in there. All the October episodes in 2019. 18. This 18. is 18. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, okay. So this is uh, us with Matt. Um, Matt filling in. Thanks, Matt, because Matt doesn't always want to come on there. So it was good to have him on here. But we did Hot Wings. So it was kind of like that show, Hot Ones or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I love that We one. talked the whole episode, and we had – here we have a sauce, and you're about to find out how hot it was. It was dis- it was crazy. Ryan here. And before we start this, Ethan had the blazing wings – from B Dubs one time, and they're three hundred thousand, right? <coughs> Those are three hundred thousand. Yeah. And these are six hundred and fifty thousand. He was crying. Thanks. So this is the moment. Oh god, I these think I've seen this crazy. before. Like, boys, I don't know. I don't man. know what's about to happen. We're about I... to go <gasps> go to a new dimension. Three, two, one. A few moments later. If <laughs> he's hey. crying, there's tears in his eyes. <laughs> Every. I was not handling it well. I was not handling it well. <laughs> I literally started crying. Hey, look at Matt here. Matt handled it like a champ. He didn't have any issues at all. Pete had to run to the bathroom. I don't know if he puked or what, but I gave up after four, the fourth, fourth. one, because we did six of them. And so I'm not a hot. We'll have to get you. We'll have to get you on one of those. Oh, I would love that. We've done it one time, and uh, it was really fun. It's, um, it's and soft. people liked it a lot because uh, I, I feel like they just like us going through pain. So <laughs> <laughs> for all you weirdos out there, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a fun one though for sure. Um, and Matt, Matt, the hottest sauce. Matt was just like, I don't even know. It's not doesn't. I mean, it's hot, but it's not that bad. Get and it was called. It was like the devil's crotch. You know, it was like Paul Blart Mall Cop. It was like the hottest sauce. Um, that was a fun one though. I forgot about that. Uh, that's pretty much all that happened there. <laughs> Here we have uh, Halloween, um, two year or. Er, uh, in 2018, mm-hmm. so we have all the costumes, and we got Colin to put on the green screen, the tight, the tight green uh-huh. screen suit. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I can't really see anything. You can't see anything. No, my eyes are like pressured shut. This thing's so tight, but. <laughs> And then <laughs> it was a kid's uh, it was a kid's green screen costume. Oh my God. So it was super tight on him. And then the same episode we went out with Tom Urban, who we've had on twice. Thanks, Tom. Uh, great episodes with you. The Demon Hunter. So we go out to the 
um, Rapidan Holberg Cemetery, which is apparently one of the most haunted in Mankato, where the grave of Cotton is. And Tom wouldn't go by the grave. He wouldn't go within 100 feet of it. Mm-hmm. So I go over to it with Matt. We shut all the lights off, and I'm touching the grave. And then I start feeling this hot pressure on my leg. And then we pull my pant leg up, and I have, like, marks on it. I don't know what the heck happened that night, but here's right the video. Here. It burns. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Did it stick? Or? Yeah. Matt's got to like move spider. the camera. Right I see it. I just felt burning. Yeah, look at it. It's actually changing color. It is. It's kind of hard to tell with a bright light. What do you think that would be, Tom? No, oh, I, I think it. we know what that is. <laughs> All I did, I went over and I just touched the grave, and that's when I started feeling like the burning sensation on yeah. my leg. Yeah, that's how it started. <laughs> so <laughs> crazy stuff there uh, with Tom and out at the cem- or out at the cemetery, and um, still to this day, De- definitely a spooky night out there. Definitely a spooky night. Tom was getting dragged. His arm was getting dragged back. Like he was in the cemetery, and he's like, mm-hmm. "Someone's pulling at me." And we're like, "What?" And he's like, "I'm not doing this. My someone's grabbing my arm." And we're like walking behind him or whatever, and we just see his arm. Mm-hmm. The video's on YouTube. Go check that out. Uh, it's in the podcast from that one from Halloween 2018. And then we got into episode 30, November 21st, 2018. We started uh, veering away from the traditional podcast. We started doing pranks. We're just coming up with all these different formats, you know, trying different uh, things. Just trying to switch it up and have more fun. With yep. It. So this is episode thirty, and we're I'm a Domino's delivery guy, so we have the topper on the car, and Matt and them are filming. I had a mic on, and I have the Domino's uniform, and here we are delivering Domino's pizza. Hi there, pizzas? No. Really? We it was the eight, and then it was the two medium. Really? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we did it right in front of this girl walking. Oh. I'm alright. Well. So, <laughs> we were literally just messing around. That was back when we were doing like the interviews too. Colin, remember the interviews yeah, we used to do? Around with campus, yeah. We'd go around and just, you probably remember some of those. We'd uh-huh. interview students, whatever. One of them I dressed up like Santa Claus. Um, oh, yeah. And went to the Mankato Lights. We were, and as uh, as like Damon talked to me after that, too, because this is a, a, the portion where Damon um, wasn't coming to Cato for him. He said it just kind of got away from the traditional talking to people, and it became more of like a joke show or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, we were kind of getting away from what we originally started it as. And I think we were just trying to figure out what the whole concept of the podcast was. And it took a long time to figure that out. So I think we were just trying different things and figuring out what was going to work. That clearly was not our thing. Like, we're just not pranksters. Like, mm-hmm. we messed around a lot, but nothing, like, nothing stuck really. It was just kind of messing around. So here's another thing. We're doing prank calls. This is definitely the funniest one. Dylan Hobdit was on the on the show, and okay. I hooked up this whole system. And I was putting a lot of time into this. I hooked up a whole echo system. So we had a, a prank call hooked up to the computer, which ran into an echo thing. So when Dylan talked, it would wait five seconds, and then it would repeat Dylan's voice to him. So when you're talking to somebody, it's impossibly hard to have a conversation because uh-huh. you, if you've ever played that game, it's a board game where it repeats. You try to say the phrase without without repeating it, uh-huh. and it keeps repeating it. Um, that's where I got the idea from. And so we called people, and it was a Craigslist ad, and Dylan had to offer them for a vape. And Dylan, if you know Dylan, he just can't hold it together. So uh-huh. this is one of the funniest moments on the podcast. Oh. Who's this? Uh, do you do you saw the <laughs> episode thirty three? Do you still have oh. the? <laughs> he can't even complete one sentence. <laughs> do you still? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you hear the guy? Hello? Uh-huh. <laughs> you saw <that> man? <laughs> <laughs> So, Alan. So, he stayed on the phone the entire time. The guy did not hang up until the end of that phone call. Just Dylan laughing for like 20 minutes. Do you still have the... Do you still have the... Do you still have... Dylan can't complete one sentence. 
Uh, so like I said, we were just messing around and it brings back good times though. Cause, um, we used to set up that you'll see a couple more variations of it. Maybe not actually. Cause I kind of skipped through those, but we used to set up like the table in my room. And then like, I would sit at my desk and Colin would sit in the corner. We had like the weirdest setup. Like it was weird. Ronaldo yeah. and was there at one point and like Peter and Dylan and like Colin and like, we just had random people coming in. It was like, we were really lost. I feel like we just didn't know what to do. We were we were tasting water at one point. We were doing. We got all these bottles of water from the g- gas station, uh-huh. and we were taste testing water. Like I don't know what we were doing. I apologize to people, but the people <laughs> stuck with us. And my dad always gives me crap about that. He's like, "Yeah, I didn't want to. I don't want to keep watching after you guys were tasting water." <laughs> So he he he's very happy with the we went back to the normal format. Um, this, that's the kind of the direction. Here we have Adam on. Um, so I'm assuming this might be the first one you were on, Adam. I have no idea to be honest. This might be. This is episode. What do same, you think about same time? shirt though? Yeah, forty three. Uh, episode forty three, July third, twenty nineteen. Um, so you would have been back from college. Mm-hmm. So maybe this was the first one that you got. On. I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to double check that. You know what? I feel like it. Uh. I don't know, but because that was definitely the day that you gave us the shirts because all of us true, were wearing the shirts. True, true. So, I don't think it was the first No, maybe it wasn't. Mm-hmm. This is the time travel episode. We had Alan call in, and he has a very interesting theory on time travel. Oh, time travel, because we literally just... Oh, and went- one more thing, too. Before the podcast, it w- one other thing we never even talked about, how hot it used to be at the bark. Oh. There's no air conditioning. We used to do it up on the in the library and on the third floor. The third floor was brutal. We have episodes where people are dripping in sweat. Uh, you know, Adrian Lee's wearing a suit and he's just boiling. And Kyle, one episode, just dripping, like needed a towel. We There's no air conditioning up there, so mm-hmm. we'd open the windows. This episode, we always would go back and forth. Are we going to leave the window open or are we not? And I'm like, yeah, I feel like if we... If we leave the window open, uh, you know, there could be fire trucks or loud stuff. And, of course, this is the episode where every – there must have been, like, ten fires that night because uh-huh. you'll hear multiple fire trucks. Got the topic up, so you'll be the first opinion on the show before any of us even. Well, if people wouldn't go so damn slow, you could travel faster. <laughs> He's a truck driver. <laughs> He's faster. a truck driver, yeah. If people would go so freaking slow, you could get to places faster and save yourself some time. Oh, That's different. That's put on time traveling. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what's So the- then we have uh, one of my favorite um, like segments or like parts of the podcast. It's me trying to explain to Adam, Damon, and Peter one of the most ridiculous conspiracy theories I think we've ever read or looked into. And I edited it together in one of those like typical YouTube edits. Uh-huh. And I just, I got it on here. It's I always laugh at it. I think it's hilarious. So here it is right here. They call it is time jumping and they'd find these people with special abilities or whatever i'm not sure what the abilities or the skill sets were but they apparently used future presidents like they used the bushes the uh B- uh clinton and obama <laughs> were all former time jumpers and he said that he went back and witnessed the gettysburg address he witnessed uh he met george washington and <laughs> <laughs> he went back to the time of jesus and these time jumpers, I don't know the they, they talk about the way they do it here. Um, it's very weird stuff like a portal. You jump into it and you go back and they can they started with just going back like a, a minute, ten minutes, an hour. They trained until they could go back. <laughs> Adam's looking at me like what <laughs> I'm are we sitting here looking about? at it? Yeah, I'm not even I'm just listening to you and looking at the screen. <laughs> and he, he apparently was part of this um this uh, this group or this project that went on for a couple of years, and it was called Project Pegasus, and it was a <laughs> it was a joint venture. <laughs> it sounds like we're talking about crazy stuff here because we are. It was a joint venture between the CIA and DARPA. I have no idea what DARPA. Is. What, does say? what does that stand for? <laughs> I read it in this news article here, and I wish I knew more. There it is: CIA and DARPA, and was used to contact former presidents, teleport to Mars. And maintain a rapport with. See, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait That's a minute. Wait right a minute. There. Physically gifted okay. children. <laughs> okay, T- okay. Time travel, like <laughs> time travel, is one thing, but teleport. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? That's training I mean, camp, Adam. They we'll, started with teleporting. We'll teleport to Mars. Let's pack up a little bit. We we're bringing in aliens here. I have one on my shirt and uh, goats. <laughs> and we had Adrian on, and he was talking about teleporting <laughs> and, and hey. stuff and. Maybe teleporting um. that, like from the bark to my house, not <laughs> <laughs> which you <laughs> did in five minutes. Today. Hey, apparently there was 140 children, and they picked children because <laughs> they were uh, gifted. 
They were gifted. Just like the TV show. They didn't have the same emotional issues as the grown-ups. There was something. There was some disconnect. But that's <laughs> where they picked children. Oh, we're getting another phone. Oh my! That, good. that is just one of the my favorite segments because we talk about a lot of conspiracies on here. That one <laughs> is just so far out of like from reality that it's it's almost laughable just when you're talking about it. <laughs> I, I get the the theory though where they're talking about uh, that they. I think what I was trying to say is presidents. Um, from aliens bring them knowledge uh -huh. like about previous things or whatever, like Trump or Obama, whatever, because they want them to keep world peace is kind of the direction. Mm -hmm. Which, in, in crazy news, you know, we're not doing news tonight really, but I have heard that by the end of 2021, uh, the Pentagon has to declassify any information on um, UFOs. Really? Is apparently I don't know if that's true, but that's part of that uh, COVID relief bill. That they're doing, that's in there, you know, because they got to throw that in. Of uh -huh, course, yeah. right now we're not in the middle of a pandemic or anything. They have to throw in uh, declassifying UFOs. So I feel like if anything, they're going to say that they're declassifying just so that you don't question yep. anything else about what they're really going <laughs> to yep. keep it in. Yeah, that I mean, we've talked about a lot of aliens, and actually, this is an episode right here, episode forty-six. This is the one with Dotum, um, where he was on. Uh -huh. This is the alien episode. And do you remember what the big event was that we're talking about on this one? That wouldn't have been the storming area fifty one. Yep, was this is it? storm it was. area fifty one, and I don't remember which one of us made a crazy number. Like I don't remember. We all made a prediction at the end. Um, one of us guessed that there was gonna be like a hundred thousand people or whatever, uh -huh. and then fifty. What was it like fifty some showed up or uh -huh. something? We were so far wrong. Uh, let's see what happens here. This is another call in show, episode forty six, July twenty fifth, twenty nineteen. Call here, John. Hang on one second. Yeah. We'll we'll come back. To all right, you. we're on the phone let's with John, phone and we got here. another phone call. Welcome to the show. You're on oh. the Ethan Claire podcast show. Who do we got here? Aliens. Yep. Hold on. Hello. Somebody's got to be playing like aliens. You yeah. have a translator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Translator. Right. I have the original hair. So that was a little. We've gotten a couple of prank calls on the mm -hmm. podcast, mm -hmm. as you can see. Um, I there was another one on here. I don't have it. Um, it was during the Halloween episode. We had a uh, hillbilly call in. Maybe I could find that after this because I don't have it on here. Oh yeah. Remember that? I'm gonna do, have to pull I that one up. That one. It's hard to um filter phone calls because we don't have somebody that answers them. Although we did do that. For one episode, and Matt was there at the park, and they called Matt, and then he took, he screened the calls, and then he gave the phone to me. Remember that episode? I don't remember which one that was. I don't remember when that was, but I remember it happening. You remember that doing that? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what that was. Um, jump it forward though, out in our backyard, uh, right by the lake. You remember what episode this is, Adam? Oh yeah, the the, the old demon, the wilder, wilder demon, demon episode. The, uh, one of our most famous mythological creatures on the podcast. In this case here, we have some very interesting information. Let's check it out. From that night, forty-eight. <laughs> yeah, is that handcuffed to your arm? <laughs> All right, let me let me open this up here. I, I wish feel like it's gonna glow like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I should get like I wanted to get like dry ice, so when I opened it, it started like uh, for those you listening. Out. I'm looking in it and it didn't glow, but yep. there is a final note or a final notice envelope. It's the only thing in there in a so metal briefcase. That, that, what that I have so here, suspicious. what I have here is a post-it note from that night. I took the hair and I um, kept the hair and Make I this part taped the hair come. to a post-it note. And I wrote on there, this is from that, the next day, authentic wilder demon hair. <laughs> and um, You that authenticated it. That is, so it's a fish. That is what it is. So you could take a look at that. I should have brought my microscope. <laughs> that is the hair right there, Damon. We could have really got into it then if yeah. you had the microscope. It now, is. It's, it's like like taken back by it that you got the camera out and recorded. You actually we have the actual hair the there. Let's get a freeze frame on that. Where was that right there? This is, and for people that don't know. The Wilder Demon is a creature that I hit with my car coming Taken back, back by it that from Worthington. And we still need to get this hair authenticated. We need to figure that out. That will be the big 2021 mystery. I was going to say, is that what's going to happen here in 2021? I think we need to get it figured out. And we have that footage that we shot last year that we never released. Never released it. You even told the podcast <laughs> one of the weeks that we were doing the podcast about the Wilder Demon that you were going to do... Or you're going to release the footage. Uh-huh. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it, it, a lot of things happen, and, you know, I get messed up. So I, we'll definitely do that, though. We're going to release it. Maybe we'll have to go shoot an actual documentary. Because there were – after we put this on Facebook, we had, like, four or five other people came forward and said they've seen the thing. They've ran into it. They saw, like, a creature sitting along the road in that area. So – 
We might need to do a full-on documentary about it. Get down to it. Might need to. Get this hair investigated. So that was always fun, though, doing it in the backyard. Doing it outside is a very unique experience doing the podcast, catching nature. And look at that background. That's a beautiful Oh yeah. That's a beautiful background nice right there. Night. Got the camera out and recorded you actually taking it off the car. Yeah, I'm just going to put that on your... So here we go. We have a psychic on the podcast. Um, and apparently... Uh, her name's Mickey Orr. She is apparently the number one psychic in all of Minnesota. And she came from Fairball. Owatonna or Fairball? Fairball. I don't, okay. Yeah. I don't know. She came, and here she is uh, demonstrating um, healing on Colin. And so, you, not that you were injured, but she uh, claims that she's going to make you uh, your shoulder warm or something. And I don't think you were vibing with it yeah i don't know what was going on <laughs> and let me know when you start feeling some heat so this will start my hands get a little warm sometimes so i'll just feel the energy feeling if there's a you like how i'm just <laughs> your face your face killed me and colin's face too this whole time I'm just loving it because you're just looking like what <laughs> look at damon he's like uh, i don't know about this but she's explaining the reiki or whatever which adrian's taught us about which they use on horses if horses are injured or whatever they lay their hands on them Apparently, they heal them. And, you know, awesome lady. Very cool. And I, I just don't believe, like, this uh, stuff. I'm very skeptical, is all I'm saying. Like, mm. she was awesome to have on. But this right here is pushing it just a little bit for me. Pain there. My hands will just automatically go there. And I'll just sit there for a little bit. And then I'll take it and I'll move it away. So when oh. I work with horses, they love it. They'll just lean into you. And they'll just go... You know, drool almost yeah. i swear and it's really good put these in full screen we're playing cats about. dogs they love it too did you feel that yet not Thank yet so much. Um, <laughs> not yet just so subtle <laughs> not yet. I, i'm gonna say something whenever we have somebody on who is somewhat questionable colin is very blunt about it like <laughs> the jesus guy uh, her just anybody maybe besides adrian i feel like Colin. maybe you can back that up I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Ethan's booking half the time. I'm just pressing the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the button pressing guy. <laughs> All right. So that was a cool one. This is around Halloween. And you know what? We need to get back to doing like the theme guests or whatever. Like next Halloween, we're going to actually get more. We did that this year. We had the we had Wesley on. We had um Jamin on for some Halloween. We didn't do much though. We need to do a no, next no. year we're gonna we're or this year we're going all out, so we're gonna have to get Danny and them. We're gonna really oh, yeah. have to go on, all out for that because they've been talking about coming on. Are they still doing uh, to switch topics for a second? Are they still doing that? Do you know of? I uh, I am not sure. I, I I saw Danny a few days ago, but I didn't say anything to him. So about we'll have to it. reach out to him for that because mm-hmm. that'd be cool to get those guys on. I'm sure I'll see him sometime soon. Anyway, yeah, Do ask him hoping. about it. Ask him about it if you see him. Is is it? Um, he did it. All right, so here we go. This one was the first time we oh, traveled. I, I forgot about this. This might be in my top three. Yeah. Favorite, like, just going there, going to their place, getting a tour. Yep. And then all their stories. So one of the things when we started the podcast was like, we, I'm like, I have my guests that I want to get on. I have people I want to get on. And one of them was I wanted to get guys that cleaned up crime scenes for a living. Because I've always thought that was interesting. Because if somebody murders somebody or someone commits suicide the cops don't clean it up the fire department doesn't clean it up so who cleans it up the family is the one th- which is horrible so these guys saw a need for it in minneapolis and we reached out to them and they said yeah come bring your stuff so we went to their facility north of minneapolis and they let us set up in their offices and after the podcast we got a tour they showed us where they keep all their blood and body parts that they find they keep a trailer full of it and we got to smell it horrible I bet. and then yeah. um they they showed us all their equipment they use and they have a very nice facility oh yeah after that kid was thrown off the balcony at mall of america mm-hmm. they were the ones that were there cleaning it up um and so they they deal with a lot of high profile stuff in minnesota they're the mm-hmm. guys that you call scene clean mn nate and craig were their names mm-hmm. nate and craig and pete, here pete was here yep he produced this, this one well, did he do anything? He was running the audio stuff, yeah, oh, and cameras, was he? yeah, because okay. we had that camera issue. Pete was here; um, he met us there. So um, here we're talking; they're talking about cleaning up a suicide in a wood shop. So this is December fifth, twenty nineteen. In his workshop, so it was already disaster because there's tools and wood pieces everywhere. Oh my god! I moved the table saw, and I, I saw like the back of like a white jelly looking thing. And so I picked it up and hear the, so the iris was down on the ground. And when I picked it up, flipped my palm over 
the iris like fell back into the eyeball. It was, oh, it's my. actually pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? How did the eyeball come out? He, he just shot pop, yeah, he shot himself in the head. Just must pieces have go out. everywhere. And the yeah. eyeball just flew out. Jump. The craziest part about uh, having those guys on or talking to those guys was how desensitized they were. I was gonna say that, like just like listening to him talk about it, he just said it so casually. Yep. No, they're used to it. They're mm-hmm. he's like when we started, you know, it was one of those things where you know it's bad, but now I'm at the point where I see a dead body or I see a head blown off or an arm or a finger or an, an eyeball or a jaw, and I'm just like, oh, pick it up, like it's another thing. And one of the craziest stories that I still tell people from that episode was, I asked them, "What's the worst thing you've ever seen?" And they said they came across the guy who had been decomposing in his house for like two weeks, or maybe it was a month. And Yeah, it was a month or a few months. During summer. And it was an upstairs apartment. Mm-hmm. The lady downstairs was eating dinner, and there was stuff dripping from her ceiling. And so she called the police. And these guys, they showed up. The guy's body, it was an older gentleman who had died in an armchair, like a leather armchair. Uh-huh. And his body was soaking into the leather and it was dripping through the floor and the, his dogs were eating him and they said they've never seen anything like it like it was they talk about it in depth oh, in the episode it, it was a horrible story and oh. i can't even imagine the smell yeah yeah they have to wear the full-on hazmat suits because oh, yeah. the chemicals and that dude i these guys that like colin said definitely top three um definitely some of the craziest people we've talked to um, very cool guys too like, oh yeah down to earth mm-hmm. definitely would love to do a follow-up with them because mm-hmm. they also clean up meth labs and so they talked a lot about that so i thought that was interesting jumping ahead now back to the bark um this is kind of when we started going to the bark a bunch january 23rd 2020 so beginning of last year um episode 67 damon gave me a keyboard and he said take it home and I want you to learn. I want you to come back next week and play me a song. So this is the beginning of the next episode, and here I am playing the song for Damon. Oh. Yep. The- <laughs> it's a new segment. Guess the song. Kong's gonna <laughs> jump. <laughs> Kong. Oh, there we yeah. go. We were listening to some old rap on the way to get those mixing boards. See, this is the episode where we had to go get the mixing board because uh-huh. Damon's talking yeah. about. Come on, hear that right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just little funny memories that always uh, come back to you when you're watching these. Um, here we are down in the tunnel. Um, can't really disclose where this was. It was a tunnel system somewhere. We, I think we said in Iowa. Yeah, definitely another one of the hottest episodes because it is brutal down there. And it was a pain setting up. Oh, getting the stuff through the hole. We actually set the podcast up. That's a piano bench. Right there. Uh, okay. And we're sitting on rocks and stones. You'll see the laptops like set it on an old plank with like a paint but like you look at this. In the cave. Oh, by the way, this is the episode we're talking about official, which we were just talking about before. Mm-hmm. We talked about the official pop out of Wyndham, which used to be a soda and beer company out of Wyndham, episode seventy two. Um we'd go in depth about that, but yeah, look at that. I'm sitting on like a plank on a rock. And mm-hmm. it, a piano bench is holding up all the equipment. So it's it very... March fifth, two thousand twenty. It seems like a lot longer than that. Yeah, this is it? right before the start of COVID, like the lockdown. Yep, and all yep. That. This is way back. Um, I think we knew about COVID, but it was like they weren't. We knew locking. about it, but it wasn't locked down. Yeah, time yet. yeah. So here, we, Damon notices something. You got a flashlight, Damon? Yeah, I do. I think the maybe, wilder demon. Maybe might get be a down check. Here. Damon's got the brightest light it's in. Either window. the wilder demon or holy. J- J- we heard Get some rumbling down, down there. Like, that's, that's, that's a grumble. 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 Holy shit. Wilder shaky. Demon followed You got us. my back here, boys. So I'm facing this. Yeah, way. I was. Uh, I don't want need to call. Damon, we might, we might need, need to call, call JJ. JJ. That goes deep. You hear that? We might need to call. I say Ghostbusters. Colin says JJ. Who's JJ? The janitor at the park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> forgot about that. You his name when you <laughs> yeah. JJ. We have well, call, I, you remember that? You remember that story about JJ, or not JJ, about the other guy? Um. Ah, uh, what was his name? Zoltar. About I Z- mean, that wasn't his name, but that's something you'd always call. Him. <laughs> it was Zoltar, wasn't no, it? No, it wasn't. Adam, you remember I Zoltar? Remember, I remember you telling me multi- like things like things about him. Like, or like I remember hearing the name, but I do not know who you are talking. Do you remember about. we were arguing one night what his name was? was the, one of the- a I kid, that, a yeah. kid, and he's a janitor there. And uh-huh. one night we're wa- we're in the because we always do him at the bark late, and so we leave. 
and um, we, uh, you know, Greg would always say lock up. So we'd be going through the building, shutting all the lights off, and there was a room, and we heard something. And so I'm, we're going down there. It's in the far ramp, and so we're like going down there, nothing. We're we're saying hello, no one comes out. So we're like, all right. So we're about to walk away, shutting all the lights off. I'm standing right by this door. All of a sudden, the door opens up, and Zoltar comes out. And <laughs> I swear I jumped in the air and the door shut behind him. And so he's like, oh, wait, my all my stuff's in there and the keys are in there and the door's locked. So we can't get back in. So this is like 1030 at night. He's we He has to use one of our phones to call Greg to come to the bark and unlock the room so he could get back in and get his uh-huh. phone and his keys and everything. All because of us. We were trying to lock up and we scare, he scared us actually. <laughs> just stuff like that, the memories. But I'm pretty sure it's Zoltar. It's not, but all right. <laughs> We're going to figure it out what it is. I'll make a T-shirt for that. Here we are, though, up in the attic of the bark. And um, Damon found – or I think I found the recipe and gave it to Damon. Um, he might have found it, too. It was on an old message board for making the actual Worms official, which Worms was the pop originally – And then the guy from Wyndham bought the recipe and made it official. So Damon uh, found it, and he's making the actual recipe. And you mix Pepsi with, what was that? Um, Grape, cherry. That brand of juice. Cherry, grape. What's that juice brand? I can't think of it. Not Hawaiian Punch. It's Uh, um, Ocean Spray. Ocean Spray. Ocean Spray, isn't it? No, I don't think so. They make grape juice. Like They're the most popular. Welch's? Welches. Welches. You cherry get, grape Welches. Yep, you get cherry grape Welches. It's weird. And you mix it with uh, Pepsi mm-hmm. and Pepsi cherry, and it, it tasted just like it. Carbonation. Oh, well, I yeah. shouldn't say it tasted just like it because I've never had it. Yeah. It tasted good, though. Gotcha. You know why mixing yep. it? That's yep. just True. something I added. Yep. But people swear that this is what worms taste like. Like, I mean, we found them. So let's cheers. Here we go. Salute there. Bring them down. Bring them down. Bring them down. Oh. And then, <laughs> Don't uh, knock them, though. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to make this again. It was very good. Damon's got a fake out of the can. Wow. Me too, man. <laughs> so that oh, one, yeah, man. you know where we're going next with it. Um, we're going to definitely talk about that more, though, on another episode, the the um, worms, and because that's a cool story with the official. And I want to get um, more stuff from the family because I know that his whole family has reached out to me, and they have, like, cases of the beer, and they have, like, the the like the actual things that we used to buy him from, like mm-hmm. the stands and all that, the posters. So I want to get more stuff and talk about it because what a cool story to have a pop out of Wyndham. Mm-hmm. Um, here we go. Moving up to the room, which we did a lot of podcasts in. It was the rental room, we'll call it, because we're always trying to get someone to rent it for Greg. Um, just a white room, and we did a bunch of podcasts up here. And this episode, we're talking about – the Domino's um, hostage situation, Kenneth Lamar Noid. And yeah. we couldn't believe the news articles that the, they were writing about this guy back in 1989. So check this out. What a Headlines. horrible article. First, first, yeah. first of all, give whoever entitled that <laughs> right. uh, article a raise, please. Right. <laughs> Pizza workers can't avoid Noid. I mean, this, okay, so a man named Noid, apparently annoyed by Domino's. <laughs> This is the article. I swear you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Paranoid Noid. They gotta quit with this stuff. Yeah, you, I mean, even when you when he gets off on insanity. Paranoid Noid is not guilty due to insanity. <laughs> Kenneth Lamar Noid. Assault suspect. <laughs> suspect annoyed. Oh my! That's that's yeah, that's, that's the way I resist. figured they were gonna spell yeah. it. This guy, for people that don't know, held up a Domino's because they had a character called the Noid. And Kenneth Lamar Noid thought they were like going after him. And after reading all these newspaper articles, it's kind of sounded like they, <laughs> they were antagonizing him just a little bit, just poking at him. Um, that was a really fun episode, though, and we talked about a bunch of other fast food mascots. Um, mm-hmm. That brings back a lot of memories, though, that room and doing it at, just we doing did, it at the bar. We did quite a few episodes up there, probably like five. <sighs> if Yeah, probably more than that. We did the uh, five or ten. cocaine episode and the mall episode. This one, yeah, it's 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 crazy looking back at the list of episodes, like all the different topics we've talked about, mm-hmm. and like the one we did up in the bark where Peter read the back of the VHS tape, and we had oh, to yep. guess what movie, Cool Runnings cool or whatever. Runnings, yep. Yeah, that it, it brings back a lot of memories going through all this. So let's see what else we got. Um, the amount. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> so here we, go. we set up the podcast in our living room. This has got to be the most chillaxed episode. Like we're all on couches. 
chilling back. And we did a contest back a while ago where we had to guess, we put on Facebook, guess how many jelly beans are in this jelly bean jar. And you guys gave me all kinds of crap for doing that. <laughs> but somebody guessed the actual exact amount of jelly beans uh-huh. and then jones thinks he can get away with commenting the exact same after this lady uh-huh. so here it is right here it's actually successfully guessed by a lady from jackson her name is linda lowen and she guessed 289 which is the exact i thought, I thought austin jones i i saw his comment i i think he might have commented after linda so uh <laughs> jones uh better luck next time i <laughs> <laughs> gotta call jones out there do you remember what we talked about on that episode, though, Adam? You had a topic, and I had a topic. We kind of combined. We kind of. I talked about mine, and you talked about yours. God, I honestly, you don't I honestly remember? do not remember them. Um, I talked about Stevie Wonder faking being blind. <laughs> oh, we watched yeah, the videos of him catching that. the microphone, and then you brought up the U.S. government doing MK Ultra, the mind control. Remember mm-hmm, that? Yep. We talked about that too, and it was like I don't remember what the episode was called, but I think it was crazy conspiracy theories or whatever mm-hmm. but the stevie wonder blind one to this day still gets me the microphone catch uh-huh and i've seen some other videos where Shaq says that he's oh yeah he's not he can uh, see he's not blind <laughs> 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 so that was a fun episode though um let's see what else we got here so maybe we'll do another one but- oh my gosh we just had a 45 minute conversation and we thought we were recording it was a juicy conversation <laughs> it was a great conversation <laughs> And, we, uh, we were recording, but we weren't recording the audio. audio. So this is the episode with Trent, uh, who gave me this tattoo. A great guy. He's been on twice. Um, we recorded, and episode 85, Colin didn't record audio, but it's all right because, like <laughs> Colin said, I think the conversation we had the second time was even better. Mm-hmm. We ended up we end up getting a lot, you know, into a lot of politics with Trent, though. You'd like talking to Trent. He's a really cool guy. Mm-hmm. Very. Uh, he knows a lot about government programs and operation paperclip and all this stuff so very cool kind of like jack a little bit to have on here audio didn't record so we have a, a 45 minute conversation of us talking with no audio so welcome back to the Ethan Podcast <laughs> show. Uh, people it's people that are listening uh, <laughs> this is insane so yeah i'll cover that because that has an address on it but uh, <laughs> yeah this is this is i don't know i don't know how well this is picking it up but these are deliveries uh there's you can see there's like a sticker here. Yep. So each one of those is an actual delivery that he did. And that is a brick of orders for one year of working at Domino's. And the stickers are like that big. Like that it's not one big slip. It's like individual stickers. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So we're talking thousands of orders here. Oh yeah. We interviewed a Domino's delivery driver and I never thought that an episode like that would be that successful, but it, it people loved it and he talked we went into detail about being a pizza guy and stories, because you gotta have crazy stories when you're a pizza delivery guy, mm-hmm. and he did, and um, people loved it. And it, I mean, it, very weird episode because it's just such a random thing to have a pizza guy on, mm-hmm. but it ended up being a really cool episode. And I thought that because it was a heavy thing when he handed it to me, I'm like, wow, that is heavy, like mm-hmm. just crazy to have that. And each sticker is one delivery, and this is a brick of just those stickers. <sighs> uh, and actually, if you want to take a look at this, those numbers are Can hold. We're here with... All right, this kind of has to be the craziest episode we ever did. If not, I mean, up there. It's definitely up there for sure. Um, Probably the most ridiculous. Very up there. This guy, um, Matthew Patrick Klein, um, otherwise he, he told us his name was Jesus. So right away in the beginning of the episode, episode 91, this is in October of 2020, um, I start off, I just say we're here with Patrick Matthew Klein. Uh, let's see what he thinks about that. Patrick Matthew Klein in Hawaii. So, Patrick, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from, are you from Hawaii originally, and just talk about yourself a little bit. Well, I have to correct you. I'm not Patrick Matthew Klein. I'm Jesus Christ. So. You like I <laughs> put Jesus Christ as the title? Uh-huh. Formerly Patrick Matthew Klein. So, <laughs> okay. I, I take my identity of that. It, I, I put it like, you know, you... When you buy a house that somebody else has lived in, it's it's no longer their house. So this is a possession of Patrick Matthew Klein's body that he used to have. So that was that, and that's the highlights here. So uh-huh. very interesting Colin episode. Had, and we were going to- I love Colin's response after I asked him what were your thoughts on uh, on that after, because I asked you what were your thoughts on this after, and you were like, I don't even remember what you said. I don't know. I was. Just... <laughs> he was just like not impressed at all. No, it, was it was one of those I things. I thought it was ridiculous, but 
You know, you got to be respectful, though, of these people who come on. I don't think I said anything the whole time no. he was on. I was just listening to his craziness. Mm-hmm. But that's the whole thing about the podcast. We have we have our friends on. We have people like that that we just don't know and that we might think, you know, they, they're on their own thing, whatever. But there's a, we've had so many different people on from doctors to police officers to, mm-hmm. um, you know, all professors. And we've had demon hunters like from going through Adam Faregs. Adam Faregs, <laughs> the know, one and only. Going yeah. through all these episodes, it really shows the scope of the amount of different kinds of people we've had on. Like it really puts into perspective. Showing you guys all that, what what does that uh, does that trigger anything for you, or just what are your favorite highlights from that that you that you guys thought were just hilarious? I remember that that uh, Domino's episode or that Domino's episode with Noid. I just. Th- I just remember just being in shock about the fact that every single <laughs> newspaper was just like like this guy, you know, he's he's holding up uh, a pizza shop and, yep. and and like you 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 expect a little bit more serious of a headline, you yep. know, something like that, but you know, <laughs> they, they, they got to make their dollar and and you know, I appreciated it. Yep. I'm I'm all for the word play. Uh-huh. <laughs> it would never happen nowadays, I'll no. tell you that. No, it was cool looking back at all the highlights you put together and I don't know, it's only been like two three years since we started it but looking back it feels like a long time ago it'll be cool to see in 30 years looking back at all the episodes that we did oh yeah and you know it's one of those things where you have all these different people and you know i'm hoping that we can all these different people check it out too because they have their own perspective on the show i feel like everyone comes into it kind of asking you know what what's the premise or whatever and we're like there's no premise it's just a conversation and so they have their own perspective on what the show is going to be. And that leads to all these unique conversations that kind of start somewhere and then end completely different. So each episode is like a completely different format almost. Like when we're talking to somebody, it could be something completely different than what we started with. Uh, another thing, though, we never even talked about is what the fake. Uh, we talked about that with the shirts in the beginning, but we've done a ton of episodes with that. It started on episode four. We did it episode 7, 9, 10, 22, 50, 56, 58, 67, 74, and 90. So it looks like we're going to have to do another one soon. And I was going to do one tonight, but I didn't really know how to base that around the episode. Um, but we're going to have to do another What the Fake here. Um, it's just been fun, though. It's been fun to look back at everything. And any you guys have a favorite guest? Uh, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with – um the crime scene guys if i had to pick one either them or jack I, I, it's a tough it's a tie for me probably what about you guys jack is definitely definitely the one for me i gotta say sherman is a close second because sherman is just a, always a fun guy to talk to oh but, yeah yeah but, but i i jack never got on stuff. with jack i really want to because those are like my favorite episodes to watch but yep terry rich last week was awesome yep oh he'd definitely be up there too and i think uh jack is like our alex jones you know, like, you oh, know what yeah. I mean? Kind of like he just he has all these uh, th- uh, theories and stuff. He knows so much about the government. He's way above our heads or whatever. And so whenever we have him on, it's just like, where are we going with this? Like, mm-hmm. you never know. And it's down the rabbit hole we go. So I want to get him on. Let's plan on getting him back on here soon. And yeah. we might have to do a big special in Wyndham and get everybody down there and do some crazy setup because that would be a great episode. Um, but again, thank thank, you know, the fans for tuning in. Thank you to Adam Collin, Dalton, like I said, Tylen, um, Damon. A huge shout-out to Damon. Hopefully we can get him back on here soon. Mason, Greg, um, everyone for supporting the show. This has just been a ton of fun, and I'm hoping we could do another 100 episodes and then come back and do a review like we did here of those 100. But this will be in the past now, so we're not really going to go back. After we get to 200, we're not going to talk about the original 100. So this is the big summary of where we are now. The future, though. Who are we going to have on? What are we doing? We're thinking this is going to be the format. It's going to be long-form conversations. Um, We're not going to do the pranks or anything like that. We're going to kind of continue on what we're doing, but we're going to try to get bigger names on, I think would be the Mm -hmm. goal, to get bigger, you know, not necessarily celebrities, but people that have done crazy things or have stories or written books or you know, not just mm-hmm. not just our friends and stuff, but people that um, have really have this background of interesting stuff that we can dive into, and that'd be my goal. And I, you know, I'm I'm thinking that's what you're thinking too, Colin. Get some bigger names, celebrity, not mm-hmm. celebrities, but if we could, that'd be awesome. We get some. If anyone was watching as a celebrity, get on the show. Um, so you guys have any uh, any other things you'd like to add here before we go? I think 
that's pretty much everything I got here. It's just been a great 100 episodes. Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. been awesome. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to Damon, too, also. It's fun doing I don't know how many episodes he said he was on, 50. Damon was on 53. 53, yeah. So I was probably on 30-some with him. Yep. around there but yeah we always got along and yep it was fun co-hosting together yeah oh yeah so thank you damon yeah definitely because i i'd say pretty much all mine except for maybe two or three have, yep. have damon with them and, and yeah damon's just an awesome guy to talk to you oh know, yeah he's very or he's really good about you know going back and forth yeah your feedback and yep. stuff yeah and i wish we could have had him here tonight it's just tough to fit four people up in this tiny little thing but what i'm thinking we gotta do is go back to wyndham or get a studio up here we'll have to see what 2021 brings it's gonna be a crazy year we gotta dig into some cake though so everyone keep watching we got some big stuff coming for you i'm telling you the podcast is not going anywhere we're gonna try to get it weekly we missed a couple weeks back here but from now on let's crank this out weekly let's get it going let's keep going with it let's get it big so thanks everyone for watching um we'll see you next week not sure who's oh actually rnk is gonna be on next week rob rob we have a big explorer youtube channel has over 100,000 subscribers well-known guy in the exploring community and he had made some national news um a couple months ago and got we're gonna, some trouble got so. some trouble we're gonna clear that up um even though he's already cleared it up himself we're gonna talk about it on here so gonna be a great episode we'll be back next week adam and colin thank you guys damon everyone thank you so much we'll be back next week this is the eve claire podcast show